He is our Teacher of the Year because of his outstanding relationships that he has with the kids, with the parents, and with his colleagues. He has a high degree of rigor in his classroom and he makes connections that go beyond the classroom into the community. He pushes us. That's one of his uh, biggest things that he does. He's a really inspiring adult. Uh, he really helps our program grow a lot more than I thought it would. He's fun about it, I guess is how you could describe it. Puts a lot more effort into us as students than um, what the average teacher would do. He captures us with his intelligence and makes us laugh because he knows what we know is funny. Each and every one of us to achieve a little bit more of our goals. He always manages to make music a part of their life and to realize that like it's just an everyday thing. He's really supported the band program. Like he came in, he just worked all ups and downs and just made it 12,000 times better. Okay, like when in jazz band and stuff, he'll be conducting us and everything. And then like there's a hit and sometimes he'll be like, grr, grr. There's no cutting off, putting breaks down. You do it great or you don't do it at all. Be inspired to be greater than what they are right now. And then seeing them achieve that and then seeing excited to, excited to have achieved that. And then beyond that, then to see their excitement and inspiration to then do more and see what more they can do and continuing on into becoming a very productive adult and becoming a very uh, productive person in our society. But it's been really neat over the last two years having uh, a computer in every kid's hand because this year especially I've learned a lot of new techniques and new ways to incorporate technology into the music classroom from their discovery. So it's a very, uh, very circular way of learning administration at the top and the corporation level to the building all the way down to the custodians and the secretaries I feel that everybody's working for each other everybody's on a team it'd be nice to be able to say that there's a one-word answer for why Mrs. Stein is our teacher of the year and makes her such a great teacher but that would be wouldn't be doing justice to her and the qualities that she brings to the classroom every single day and she's compassionate towards her children to the degree that she goes out of her way to help them be successful not just in the classroom but in other activities in the school as well. There are also better people who are going to be prepared for the challenges in life that face them as well. Say, is, can we do this because it'll be in the best interest of students? And, and, oh, by the way, can you help me find a way to pay for it? You know, almost impossible to say no to Mrs. Stein when she makes those kinds of requests because I know ultimately it is in the best interest of the students and they will be better off. So We can do, like, design our own kind of thing and answer the questions to, like, our potential and stuff and like, it's not like oh, everything is boring or multiple choice tests are like fun and we can like make PowerPoints and Word documents and I like her because she makes everything fun and like in our Sarah area. has been wonderful. Um, she volunteers her time after school to help um, meet with my son twice a week to make sure he's caught up on assignments. She's really been the first one who's stepped outside the box and said I'm going to make this work for him and I'm going to make sure that he stays on track absolutely wonderful. Um, he's probably had the best grades he's ever had. <laughs> I get to spend the day with 120 13 year olds. What's not exciting about that? You'll never know what you're going to get. It's never a dull moment. It's always fun. Um, I feed off their energy. Um, maybe a little too much so sometimes. And um, I thought I was just awful to him and I didn't reach him and he comes back every day to tell me um, how much he appreciated it. It's moments like that. Sometimes when I think I'm not reaching a class, and when I leave and they're still talking to me about the lesson in the hallway the next day, I know that it's sinking in. And there's days that I definitely, um, they teach me more than I teach them. And I live for those moments. I started doing something called Genius Hour this year, where they can actually learn what they want to learn. And um, even if that means it's Justin Bieber or One Direction, seeing the creativity come out in the students, there's students now that are creating apps that I wouldn't begin to know how to do now. When you come into the building, it's like a breath of fresh air. It's a, a, never a dull moment, but that's a good thing. Um, and the peers are so great and so great to work with. Sherry Luffel is just an outstanding educator. I think the thing I appreciate most about Sherry is her, willing, her willingness to constantly evaluate is this going to be good for the students that she, she serves? Sherry is one of our leaders as far as school improvement initiatives. Sherry is a very calming factor for our staff. Sherry was instrumental in bringing in some new technologies and the use of data through some of the M-Class initiatives that we now deploy across the district. 
Hill Elementary School is very blessed to have Sherry Luffel as a, as a staff member to serve the students in our school. She helped us on one of our books that we did as a class and and she she made it a lot easier for us to understand it. She's nice. She encourages us to get stuff done and under, let it, letting us understand stuff better. I first decided I wanted to become a teacher when I was in the second grade and I never wavered from that choice. And I found that um, the daily five techniques that we've been using in class have really started to have an effect on some of our struggling readers and this little boy because he had the choice to choose the books he wanted to choose that were good fit for him started making a lot of progress. That's something that he'll carry with him. It was very exciting. They use technology for absolutely everything. Absolutely. It's not that we don't read books and that we don't write on paper. We still do those things. We're working together to try to make Avila a better school. I think the biggest plus about teaching at Avila School is the atmosphere. And our atmosphere is very collaborative. It's a big job. There's no doubt that education has changed over the years. The standards are higher. There's more to it. And I think that it's such a big job that it would be almost too big a job for a person to be like a lone ranger and do it on their own. And what makes her great is every day is a new day in her classroom. She brings a tremendous amount of enthusiasm and even as you go into her classroom, you can feel the kids' excitement build. I never know quite where Angie's going to be. Sometimes I find her up on top of the desk. Sometimes she's hidden on the floor in amongst her students as she is drawing out experiences for her students. And with Angie, she's constantly looking for those ways to improve her own teaching and her own style. She's done an outstanding job of integrating technology into her classroom and she's always willing to share those experiences, not only with teachers within our building, but teachers outside of the corporation as well. And she led us to Statue of Liberty and butterflies, and she made our day. Um, um, if we get to like 40 or 45 points, um, we get to have a smarty party. We pretended we were going to the beach, but we're really in the classroom. We gotta create story. And the pot filled up with, she had it filled with spaghetti noodles, and we got to dip our hands in that, which seems very unhealthy and germ-like, but we had it all over the classroom. There were 27 second graders, and we had pasta all over the classroom, and at that moment, I thought, teaching could be fun. I think I want to do this. He has um, moved up 10 reading levels since school started, and he feels successful and happy, and um, I see that, that excitement in him each day, so that's probably been the most exciting teaching moment this year. Seeing the graphs from the beginning of the year to the end of the year of the students' data and how much they've grown is always the most exciting part of being a teacher. It's just exciting to see the things that the students can now create on their own without the teacher saying this is what you must do. They are now being their own creators of projects and assignments and it's very fun to see that. I love Northside. I've always loved Northside. I love it most because we are a family. Um, we spend all day together, every day together, and every teacher and, and Ms. Lawyer knows the kids individually. Our whole school is just a small little community that knows everybody and is, is caring about everybody. She um, has a dynamic spirit, and everybody in the school can feel it and knows it. Very addicting personality. And so everybody around her um, just smiles and she um, contributes in every possible way. Um, she puts together convocations for our students. She um, is the cheerleader out there no matter what, she will do it. And everybody around her um, will smile and be so grateful. They're so grateful for all that she does and pours into our school and, and into our students. She will go out on a limb for kids. And that's what makes her so special. She's great. Why? Because she helps, sorry, because she helps with us not being a bully. She's nice, she's playful. Like, for Jim, she's helpful with that. 
and for character counts she teaches us to be good and help us on the character counts all six pillars. It's really fun. She's really active and she likes uh, playing with the kids. Um, she's probably one of the best teachers I've had in my Rome City time. Going you here. realize you're talking to one of your old teachers, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really neat to watch a child develop from elementary school through their years and see everything that they've done. Oh gosh, everything. Um, I, lo I love my job. I think what excites me most is when you see a student who has that aha moment. They're so excited that they achieve that. That's one of the neatest things about teaching and one of the most exciting things about teaching is to watch your students finally grasp the concept you've worked so hard on teaching them. Technology is awesome. Technology has brought a wealth of knowledge to the children. I enjoy teaching at my school because it's fun. I don't feel like I have to go to a job every day, but I'm going to something that I love. And I feel like I work with a family of colleagues that... She's an invaluable partner because she's experienced, she's insightful, she's thorough, she's focused, and she's very organized. She'll get more done in one hour than I'll get done in a day. And that's why I think of her as an invaluable partner, too. From the rattled teacher, whose week has become way too complicated, as is often the case these days, uh, to the adolescent girl who's uh, uh, in tears over the latest uh, incident at a YMCA dance over the weekend and brings that to school with her on Monday, uh, to the abused uh, kindergartner whose life is uh, so upsetting every day and she doesn't know why. Judy is there to help. She's their advocate and she's their partner and she's their friend. We just uh, love her so much. She is always available to help. She's always available to go to a classroom if somebody needs assistance. She's very positive. She is always there for all of us. You know, I always wanted to be a teacher ever since I was really little. My dad um, put school desks down in the basement and I forced everyone to play school. I was always the teacher. I had one moment of temporary insanity in middle school when I was going to be a physical therapist. And the assistant principal told my mom not to worry. He said if anybody was ever born to be a teacher, your daughter is and she will never be happy unless she is in education. It's moments like that that keep me going. Just before I left, I had a thank you note from a fourth grader for talking to her and she said that the things that we talked about helped. And that happens a bunch and that's neat. Um, probably the other moments are when they're all grown up and they come running up when they see you out in public. People are patient, kids are great, and it's just a one, and you don't have to make yourself get up in the morning to go to work. What excites me most about being a teacher is the aha moment. I don't think that you can substitute that. The moment when a child um, grasps something, feels like a word is all their own, or even in guidance that, you know, something that you said really strikes home with them. She has a way of drawing out creativity in her students using a variety of teaching methods. She makes a point to have student artwork displayed not just within our school but also outside of our school. So oftentimes you'll see artwork in art galleries, art shows, nursing homes, medical offices. Um, I think that gives the children a sense of pride in their work. Um, Mrs. Mossberg is a teacher who is very dedicated to the profession. You'll often see her working late into the evening preparing lessons or preparing student work to be um, presented for others. Um, she's definitely a talented and dedicated teacher. We get to do a lot of artwork and we get to bring it home um, at the end of the school year. Um, my favorite thing that she's done all year is the giant pencils and we're also making cereal boxes. We've been making our own paper and we've made clay monsters. Um, she gives us great art projects that we actually like to do and it makes all of us excited to do them because we're all working together and if somebody needs help we can always help somebody. She makes things easier because she explains what we're supposed to do a lot easier so it's easier to do our work. I get excited when I see the really young kids progress and they start out with not very many skills and I, I have, because I'm an art teacher, I have them all the way from kindergarten to sixth grade and I really get to see their growth and it's just something that 
is very rewarding to see them go from not being able to do what they want to do to being able to really do something nice. Because on the internet you have this unlimited source of famous art and reproductions and you can also go to museums online. Wayne Center is really special. Um, the faculty there and the staff, we're just, everybody helps each other out and anybody has a problem, there's people there to help you. People have your back and it's, I've taught there so long, it's almost like being at home. When you go there, you just like feel like you're at home.